right, hello Sage, welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48 episode, October 7 and 8 for Sage. Sun, moon, rising in the North Node. Just want to take a quick swig. All right, cool. Okay, so your overall message, clear audibly, is last man standing. All right, so first of all, I feel like you're going to be the last man standing by default. Somebody gets tired and they just, they falter. All right, so I'm getting like, I'm getting you, pre you prevail by not overworking yourself, not overexerting yourself. Just go with the flow. All right, um, so I'm getting like you're the last man standing, okay? When you look at the Ten of Wands, that's kind of what it represents. I feel like you're kind of left holding up everything. All right. Sage. Sun, moon, rising, and the north node. Last man standing. All right. Yeah, so I'm getting if there is a competition... The fact that the fact that you can just stand up makes you a winner. All right. So I feel like I feel like it's all about your stance or your position. All right. Or the way that you hold that position is important. That's all you have to do. You have to hold that position with confidence. All right. All right. Say. <laughs> Sun, moon, rising in the North Node. Important messages, October 7 and 8, please. Three of Cups, yeah, so you're celebrating, all right? So first of all, you wake up and you're smiling. You have something to smile about when you wake up. You have some, someone to wake up to. I'm getting a good morning kiss or a good morning text, all right? So I'm hearing someone say, hey, love, or good morning, love, all right? So here you are. I'm getting it with your love or you're celebrating something. If you're not getting a text message from your love, I'm getting it. You're getting it from maybe... Uh, Friends, followers, what else? Your sister, yeah, the temperance card. Okay, there you are. Yeah, right. I'm getting like I'm getting early in the morning, like somebody's making your day like bright and early. You're like, what's up? Yeah, the Prince of Swords. Okay, and we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, so somebody's initiating a conversation, or I'm getting you are meeting somebody for the first time. You guys hit it off. It looks like a really good connection here. Six of Swords. Somebody feels like a soulmate right off the bat. When you meet this person, you feel like this person was guided to you or, or like i'm getting like if whatever wherever you are I'm, getting, I'm hearing botanical gardens or you're at the park or i'm hearing like birds fluttering and like waterfall or something like that so i'm getting like you could be in a courtyard or like i said a park or something like that but i feel like you are encountering someone you're meeting someone and you're like you're like speaking to this person you're hitting it off okay i'm also getting to you could be at like a swimming pool or like a sauna or something like that all right what is the six of swords but i feel like you are at a, you are at a health and wellness center of some sort you're at the gym you're somewhere i'm also getting to this could be someone that's picking you up an uber or lyft or dropping something off okay what's the, what is the six of swords all right i'm hearing like really calming music all right, so I'm getting like yoga. So are you exercising like early in the morning, like doing yoga or Pilates or something like that or calisthenics? Okay, the strength card. Yes, yeah, so I feel like you're actually building strength. You're building your core. I'm getting it's leg day. So you're working on your legs, your glutes, all right, your calves. Yeah, so I'm getting you're trying to get your body right. Okay, so I feel like you're training or something like that or you're just taking care of yourself. Yeah, the, the king of wands. You're literally, I feel like you're working out naked or damn near naked or topless or something like that <laughs> all right so i feel like somebody here is watching you or somebody's working out with you but i hear like you know rap music playing or you're changing songs okay so i feel like you're working out all right so that looks like that's what that's what you're doing i feel like it's a, i feel like you do this every morning or you do this every week it's a weekly thing okay what, what is this right here all right but you seem to be enjoying it i feel like you do have a workout buddy a partner or you're with somebody you're not alone or if, you're, if you go there alone, I feel like you meet somebody while you're there, you hit it off. Yeah, we have the two of the two of swords, the princess of wands, and we have the king of cups. All right. Hmm. I I hear somebody say I, saying I love you as well. Someone's like I love you. Someone's just telling you that they love you. So I'm getting it's a water sign, Cancerian, Piscean, Scorpion. Okay, so they're saying this to you. Yeah, the magician. Hmm. The Ten of Cups, wow. All right, so I'm definitely getting the L word. There's some, someone is like expressing their love to you or like really pouring their heart out romantically. I'm also getting to like music, a lot of music, someone singing or playing this, this music or 
All right, so I feel like I'm getting like I'm getting something very peaceful, therapeutic. You're just really relaxed and happy. You feel really good and love and kind of just I, I'm getting like you feel really special. All right, I feel like somebody is like complimenting your body. They always compliment your body. All right. Somebody's like a professional swimmer or like a lifeguard. I see you like you're always in the water. I'm getting like every day this week, like you're really connecting with the element of water. You're swimming, you're going to the sauna. All right. I feel like you're taking a lot of showers or baths, like you're taking multiple baths or showers a day. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords. Hmm. All right, so I feel like this is somebody, I feel like somebody's a little bit obsessive about looking good naked. So of course this could be a model or yeah, we have the Justice card, and then we have the Prince of Cups, the Four of Cups. Hmm. What is this? Okay, the Three of Swords. All right, yeah, a lot of a lot of water in your reading, so I'm definitely getting you're dealing with a water sign. All right, so I feel like you're trying to get over a breakup by working out. Okay, maybe going to the maybe going to the health and wellness center. All right, I feel like you're trying to get over a breakup. Okay, because I actually see you in the shower, like crying. Or all right, what's the three of swords here? But I also feel like somebody is. This is like somebody who's really regretful. I kind of feel like somebody's drunk. And they're like crying and they're like regretful and. Okay, the Six of Cups, yeah. So I'm, I'm definitely getting it. This could be someone that you're dealing with romantically. All right. And we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, nothing but water. I'm also getting, too, something is flooded. Or something is flooding. All right. So I'm getting a pond or river that's close to your home. It's like flooding or there's a lot of, I feel like there's a, there's a leak or something. All right. Or something is leaking or, all right, let's see. Yeah, so I'm getting like, I'm getting you're going to be disappointed. I'm, okay. Or this could be somebody else, a water sign. Because I feel like you are the last man standing. I feel like somebody is like literally left like, like somewhere and they're like crying. Like somebody's really weeping. Or I feel like you can hear somebody crying in the shower. Like really, like I feel like someone's crying so bad that they're like heaving. Like someone's like cough, like coughing and they're crying. So like, all right. Yeah, so I'm getting... There's a breakup here or um, a divorce. Somebody could be asking for this. So I feel like somebody else is going through this. Somebody else is sad. I'm like crying a lot. Okay, all right. So the week, we have fickle. Yeah, somebody is really emotional. I feel like, some, I feel like somebody's going through a breakup or they're going through like a really emotional time and they're crying. And I feel like somebody cries at the drop of a hat. Like they're very, they're really sensitive. All right, what else, please? Yeah, we have, yeah, but I feel like, yeah, so somebody's faking it. I feel like somebody's bullshitting you. All right, so I feel like somebody's feeding you a sob story. So I feel like somebody wants you to feel sorry for them. Somebody wants you to take them back. But I feel like they're lying to you, Sage, yeah. Handwriting, something is not authentic. Somebody's not being authentic. I feel like, what, I feel like whatever somebody's telling you is a flat-out lie. All right. I'm also getting to, like, somebody is coming off really happy, but they're really very sad. They need help. They need assistance, shelter. They may not have anywhere to go, okay? We have tarot, we have guidance. So I, I feel like somebody could be trying to play on your emotions here. They're lying, all right? I feel like somebody needs help or somebody needs support. They're, they're gonna make up a lie to get you, to get back in your good grace or to get you to help them. So I, I feel like somebody's, I feel like, yeah, somebody plays on your emotions. Uh, or somebody uses uh, the children as a weapon here. Yes, I, I feel like somebody can't see their kids or somebody won't let you see their kids or they, they wouldn't let you see your, your kids in the past or something like that. All right. All right, so I'm getting... Hmm. All right, let's just pull some more cards sure how this reading pertains to to your message the last man standing okay so i feel like um the reading the week is like kind of the message is kind of off so I, I feel like something i feel like that's in the grand scheme of things 
All right, so I'm getting like you could be going through a really nasty or hard breakup right now, but you're going to be the last man standing in a situation. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm seeing. So this, okay, let's let's get some wellness cards. Yeah, we have speak, spend time with animals. Yeah, so I'm getting I'm getting two. You may have um, encounters with, with with like rodents this week. You know, with like little lizards, frogs. All right, bugs, maybe rodents, like rodents in your house. Okay, spirit animals, shit like that, deer. All right, so I'm getting you're going to be seeing a lot of animals this week. Or you may, like I said, you might have to, um, sorry, you may have to deal with like rodents in your actual home. All right, or bugs or something like that. Okay. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like if an if an animal shows up in your life, look it up. Like if it's a if it's a frog or if it's a lizard or if it's a beetle, make sure you look it up and see what the spiritual meaning of that animal totem is, so you know why that animal is showing up in your life. All right, there's a reason for it. Okay. Okay, more messages for Sage, please. It says, I am surrounded by love and support. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So I, I feel like if you are going through a really nasty breakup, there is somebody here to cheer you up. I'm getting it's your sister, your friend. It could be coworkers. I feel like I feel like this person goes to the gym with you or they, you know, they give you really good advice or they're just very supportive. All right. They make you feel good. They, they try to make you comfortable in this situation. So I feel like you're not alone. I feel like there is somebody here to comfort you to make sure that you're okay all right i'm also getting to if you're going through a breakup there there's going to be somebody here to like love you during this time all right it could be a platonic friend but i'm getting like something is turning into like something is turning romantic because of a breakup i feel like you're confiding in this friend and then this you know you may end up falling in love or like you know i feel like something becomes more than a friendship because of somebody's misfortune or something like that new beginnings yeah so starting over brand new Okay, so the breakup or the separation could just be you from like maybe your childhood home. Maybe you've never been away from home. I'm getting you're moving. You're relocating. All right, so I'm getting you're changing spaces. Okay, change is good. All right, more cards for Sage. cards for sage please it says hello void yeah i'm getting it doesn't matter what you do you can't seem to feel the void of this person being gone you really miss them all right but i'm, I'm getting like you need to keep yourself busy and take care of yourself your mental state your spirituality your body keep yourself clean all right because i, I kind of i feel like you are missing somebody like you know and like it's, it's almost like it doesn't matter what you do all you can think about is this person like being with them all right it's, there's a there's a huge void in your life all right. Okay, but I'm getting I'm getting you are going to be comforted. Okay, let's get your okay, yeah, because your spell for the week is new beginnings. So I'm getting that void. If you if there was a void, it's going to be filled. All right, I'm getting like you need to reconnect with yourself. All right. Do you even know what you want? All right, so I'm gonna leave it there. All right, Sage. I think I put all the cards for you. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.